This is the Dr. Malika Clary Show. Dr. Malika has a background as a clinical psychologist, actress, director, model, and human rights activist. The Dr. Malika Clary Show will help move you towards bettering the quality of your life with positive psychology. So please welcome your host, Dr. Malika Clary. Welcome, everybody, to the Dr. Malika Clary Show on the Bold and Brave TV Network, where we're coming live. (laughs) Hi, everyone. I'm so glad God got me up this morning so I'll be able to do the show another week and another day. So I'm hoping everybody have a wonderful, blessed week and a weekend to come. So I just want to say today we have a special guest. We always have special guests, but I'm just love. I'm just, just so full of joy because she decided to be in my show, to be a guest in my show. But this individual, we we work well together. We have done a movie together. We have done short films together. And I'm, I'm just like so pleased with her. She is a um, MTV reality star. She has played on Three Corners of Deception movie, my movie, as one of my physicians. And I just love her. And we also played on Willpower together. We are just interesting people, aren't we? But we work so well together and she but you know what not that just because she's an actress she's also a musician I mean like a musician she has some really interesting lyrics and wonderful songs and she's just a just an all-around really nice individual and I'm so glad that she is here today and as I just say always it's a pleasure that I hope everyone's having a wonderful time and just enjoying the day and remember just tune in because even today even if it's not that great just keep going keep going because we're human and we're just gonna keep going as day by day and stay with me that's why i do this show because i try to bring positivity in the world because we have enough of negativity so i really really work hard to try to get people on my show to just explain their situation or not even situation their experiences because we all live through testimonies and believe me if you think you're alone you're not There are so many people that go through so many things and they do overcome it. And I like to share and care. So I like to bring her on so she can share her testimonies. Her name is Deborah Danielson. And I'm so glad she's she's welcome to um, and just glad to agree to be on my show. Welcome, Deborah, my beautiful lady. (laughs) Fantastic, Dr. Malika. I am just so impressed. You know, very. I'm married to a doctor, so I'm going to say this. Very few doctors take enough time to care for their own selves. And I don't know how many times I've gone to the doctor feeling bad. And then I look at them and think, oh, my God, this poor person has been so stressed out taking care of everybody else. They don't take care of their own selves. So I'm glad that you have invited me today because you're beautiful and I enjoy your oh, positive Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. You are so nice. I just want to give you a hug, give you an air hug. <laughs> give you an air hug and those little emojis. <laughs> I have to say that. Okay, you know what, Deb? And you know we work well together. But you know what? At the end of the day, you know, it's all about, and I know you're an actress. I know you're a musician. I know you're a mom. I know a lot about you. But here's the thing about it, and I always have to ask this because, you know, my platform is about mental health awareness every day, not just one day, but every day. Because not every day you feel like this energized bunny, you know, that's conquered the world and trying to stay up. You have to really talk yourself into certain things. But here's the thing. I like to know, who do you identify yourself as? Because I've already some what I thought your identity is. But who do you identify yourself as to yourself? To myself, I guess God has humbled me enough to say that I look at myself as a child of God. And I realize that even though every single day you get up and every single day you have a purpose. And I think that's important because I didn't really used to know that I had a purpose that I was here for a specific reason, just like everybody else is. 
And when I realized that God loved me and he made me just for that purpose, I thought, well, geez, I better shape up and I better figure out what that purpose is so I can go do it. Right. So Mm -hmm. I see myself as a child of God and I see myself lucky enough to be a mom and a grandma and to understand empathy for other people is very important in this day and age. Also being positive and encouraging people because a lot of people have been told, oh, you're not this, you're not that, especially Mm -hmm. on social media, right? Mm -hmm. And I think the very first thing I realized the night that you picked me up at the airport and we went shopping, we went on on a mad (laughs) street shopping at the grocery (laughs) store, right? It was like... (laughs) We are women on the move. We got 15 things going. We got it timed down like a race, you know, like the Indy 500. I mean, we got it timed. And we are not going to take no for an answer. We don't take prisoners, but we want to make sure that those who come alongside us are successful too. That's right. Oh, I just love it. I really do. I, you know, that's so funny that you said that we were wanting a, a mile a minute. <laughs> like let's go we got to go <laughs> and you, you just ride it with me too <laughs> I I to say, we were in and out like come on um, we don't got time come on deb let's go we got to do this thing <laughs> and then you're telling me all these things that you have planned for the next few years and i'm like wow i love this i love the drive the motivation i love it when a person, especially women, believe in their dreams. And, you know, I guess my number one goal, if nothing else, is to everybody I come across, I want to make sure that their dreams are given to them for a purpose and they should believe that. It's not just they're hallucinating or just kind of crept up on them. It's real. That's right. And you know what? I love that you said that. And on that note, we are going to take a brief commercial and we will be right back with the beautiful Deborah Danielson. Be right back. Do not go no one. Don't go nowhere. (laughs) What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back to the Dr. Malika Clary Show on the Bold and Brave TV Network. Welcome back, family. We are still with the beautiful actress, musician, the everything, Deborah Danielson. Welcome back, my girl. <laughs> I hope everyone oh. in, your, in your audience today knows that genuinely they're talented and beautiful and not to 
not to be little their talents, but to fully embrace them. Yes, you know what? That's good that you said that because, and that's what the show is all about, to let people know we're human beings. Believe in mm -hmm. yourself. You know what I mean? And that's what you have to do. You know, and w with that being said, you know, everybody has beliefs in their world and their in their self. And, you know, I'm Christian, but not everybody's Christian. And right. so what is your belief mechanism? Because, you know, when you're having a bad day or, or something's going on, what do you believe in? Like, wh where, what do you actually, you follow? What's your belief mechanism? Well, first thing I do is I check my attitude now because you know sometimes the problem's in me right so oh I'm glad you identified that because not everyone uh, identifies they have flaws or faults correct. yeah and i guess once i sit down and take a breath i take a beat and i say okay what could i do better how could i make this better and then if i honestly can't come up with something <laughs> i think of a nice way to go back to the person and say, look, this is how I'm feeling right now, but I'd really like it to be this other way. Is there a way to make that happen? And I don't like backing people into a corner. I think, you know, long time ago, we used to be taught or educated to like come at people with all the facts and how we're just going to be aggressive. I don't think that that's the way we need to roll. I think we need to have an understanding and awareness that we're all humans and we all need to work together. You know, and you said a really good point because we do need to work together and no one's perfect. So, right. you know, it's just about patience and communications. And that's what I'm hearing from you. Now, have you ever had a challenge in your life that you was just like, oh my goodness, how am I going to get through this? Because, you know, I pray, I do things like that, you know, and because the human flesh to me, I can't always have all the answers. So I have to pray right. about it. I need direction. So have you ever been in a challenge in your life that it was just one of those moments that I don't know what I'm going to do? How am I going to get through this? I, I have a couple right now, but I think the worst I ever had was when my very first fiance I had passed away unexpectedly. And I went in a grief mode i was i think i was 21 at the time and that was the love of my life and it was unexpected and i just was blown away i was speechless when i got the phone call and i went to i remember being so depressed that i went to my doctor and i said do you think maybe you could just give me a drug and like make me sleep for like six solid months and not wake up? <laughs> it's like, no, Deborah, we can't that, do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, I, I understand what you're saying there. Yeah. And I'm glad that that's when I started looking into a books on bereavement and grief and how you handle challenges that sometimes seem really unfair obscure in life and you think you're the only one going through it well i've realized now i'm not the only one that this is a human condition we all go through these things and so we really need each other to i guess to be understanding and have empathy during those times to get us through it and i made it through i'm fine but it makes you stronger for the next situation that comes up because life is just one situation after the other. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you're right about that. And I can't imagine, you know, losing somebody that was so, you know, loved and cared and close to your heart. And then all of a sudden you just like out of the blue. And then, you know, you said you read, did you say a book name? I don't know. Did you say? I didn't say a specific book because at but, the time, okay. I went to the library and believe it or not, I found entire sections on grief, bereavement, and how people handle it and different cultural aspects of handling it. In some cultures, they think it's a weakness. But I think as we understand mental health more and more, we actually know it's just part of the process of healing and getting I guess dealing with it in your own terms and everybody has to do that. 
Yeah. And you know, when you went through such an ordeal, and did you feel like, because um, you know, there's people that's watching us and it's like, yeah, I hear you, but my story is different than yours. But then yeah. when you think, yeah, but when you think about it, I would say if I was in that situation, I feel like my situation is just as important as anybody else's. And you oh. want to deal with it the best way you can. So there's no real perfect way how to deal with grief. It's just that you have to know that, that you can go forward. You have, you know, choices and you need to try to get out of this, this feeling. Did you have something that motivated you to not stay at one position in your life? When I found out that other people were going through these kind of things, and I wasn't the only one. Somehow we get this idea sometimes, well, I'm the only one that's having this problem, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it's like, it's like my estrangement from my granddaughter right now, who basically I helped raise from day one, right? And knowing that she's in a place right now that I don't think she's that safe. What do I do about that? Well, first of all, I pray because that's what we need to do. But second of all, my fans, I must say, are incredible human beings. I have hurting mothers, grandmothers, fathers, grandfathers reach out to me and tell me their struggles on social media. And I just find that we comfort one another and we can express. So if you can express your feelings to someone who's not going to judge you, but just going to come alongside you and say, yeah, I got it. Or, God, I'm sorry. I just really don't know what to say. But there are people who do care. And I think if you surround yourself with people like that, that will help you heal and accept the situation. You may not be able to fix it or change it, but at least accept it so that you can be strong and happy and fulfilling. And that was well said. I appreciate you sharing and caring. On that note, we are going to take a brief commercial and we will be right back with Deb, the beautiful Deb Danielson on the Dr. Malika Claire show on the Bold and Brave TV network. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Welcome back to the Dr. Malika Clary Show on the Bold and Brave TV Network. Well, we're coming live. We are still with our beautiful guest, Deborah Danielson, the actress, the musician, the everything. 
<laughs> I have to say because you do a lot of things and you wear so many hats. But you know, with that being said, how you know what kind of self care do you do? I mean, because you know, at the end of the day, you didn't mention. You know, I do a lot of things. You know, but you could take care of other people. But what about yourself? So, what do you do to do self care for yourself? There's two things I really, really like to do. Number one, I like to go somewhere and just be alone. Just so you can have quiet. You know, most people would probably call it meditation, but I call it my quiet time. So I go there and I just, sometimes I just lay down, but I just get myself in a space where I can think and there's no noise. There's no phones. There's no TikTok going on, whatever. It's just me trying to get myself straight. And I, I recharge. And I usually take about 30 minutes to do that. And then I feel that I come out with a really good attitude and I have more energy. So it's kind of like my midday re repurposing myself, you know, it just works. The other thing I like to do is I like to garden. I like to put myself mm -hmm. And beautiful things because when I'm surrounded by something beautiful, I feel amazing. Wow, that's amazing. That's good. And when you say garden, do you like um like vegetables or raise your own fruits, fruits and vegetables or stuff like that, or flowers, or what kind of garden do you do? Because you know, I, I wish I could do that. It's not like I, I don't have the magic thumb. <laughs> I have to say, I, I mean, I, I just don't. I, I want to, but I don't have it. <laughs> it just takes, so what gardening does to me, I love huge things, right? So I'll do hardscaping where we just rip out the whole yard and redo it. And then I put in fruit trees, like my favorite fruit trees, like maraschino cherries or like donut pear, something like that. Um, I will plant a few limited vegetables, but mainly my thing is I like exotic flowers. So right now in my yard, I have Himalayan arunes blooming and they're called carrion flowers. So they get about three foot long. The bloom does. It opens up and then I have massive swarms of flies that come and pollinate it because it smells like rotted meat or like the stockyard maybe. Oh but right next to that, I'll have these amazing English roses that are just so fragrant, oh you know. God. But I just, I like the oddities and I like, you know, like you got both ends of the continuum. You got extremely beautiful and then you got this weird thing over here, but God made all of them. And it reminds me that everything and everyone has a place and a purpose. So that's why I enjoy seeing a nice mixture. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I love roses. I honestly do. I mean, I do have a rose bush. I'm hoping that it will grow. <laughs> we just did it. So I'm hoping, I didn't go check on it, but <laughs> I'm hoping because I get roses a lot and they, you know, they only last so long, you know, yeah. but so we, you know, decided to get a rose bush and I was like, oh, this is amazing, wow. but I have to take care of it. Wow. <laughs> I was wondering, like, you know, so we're going to see, I'm hoping one day I just walk out there and all oh, these little pretty <laughs> roses will be there. And I would be like, oh, and just feel like blissful. <laughs> Yeah. Make sure you put plenty of food on it. They love food. Food on rose food. Rose food, yeah. Rose food, yes. Ooh, I don't think I did that. <laughs> I didn't hear that until now. Rose just food. It's a sprinkle kind. You just sprinkle it around there and water it. It'll be happy. <laughs> oh my goodness, I did not know that. Girl, I just put water on it. <laughs> it i don't have any okay now i gotta go to the store and get that all right all right you you the doctor in that field because i i you know i'm saying i'm writing it down there. if i was there we'd make a midnight run to the rose store <laughs> oh my goodness you know we would we would definitely do that we'd be sitting there on the porch you know how you like the porch put your feet yeah. up i think we got a video of that too yeah. <laughs> your deck is wonderful yeah. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, with that being said, I do want to sit up there and talk about 
the Three Corners of Deception movie. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you rocked it in the movie. So did I you. I just tell you, everything was so nice. The way the whole crew came together and the talent. I was just super impressed. It was so nice to work on a set where I didn't feel like my life is threatened. <laughs> You know, you did a wonderful job. And, you know, we worked together before. And, you know, I know before when we go on break, we're going to play the trailer with you because I, I'm just so blessed. And we're not going to say a whole lot because, you know, the movie's going to come out publicly on streaming networks this year, 2023. But you yeah. did an amazing job. And you, you just, you know, I just was so glad to work with you. And, you know, I do have some questions about that because, you know, how was it when we when we work together. Ooh. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> okay. All right. We hope we hoping Debbie are okay. I felt like that was me about a month ago. And I was like, oh my goodness. She sounds like she's getting through it. I think it's just a little bit of water. Hopefully she'd be okay. We'll be back with Deborah. Hopefully I uh, she already sounds like she's getting through it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think she's coming back. All right. <clears throat> you know what? Are you back, Deborah? Because oh my goodness. I uh, sit up there, I'm, I'm I'm on the phone, get ready, call 911. I'm like, wait, do I need to call 911? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Something got in my throat. <coughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness, girl, it's your helmet because that happened to me about a month ago. I don't know if you watched the segment or not, but I was sitting up there just a gagging and I was like, oh my gosh, I was, and I was getting over the cold. I was like, oh, oh. I was like, and I had Ben, I was interviewing Ben, my cousin, and he was just like, okay, cuz you're gonna be all right. Yeah. <laughs> so you okay, good. Well, you know what? On that note, we're going to take a brief commercial. We'll come right back. But you know what? Don't go nowhere. But I'm going to play the trailer with the famous Deb, who fit, plays my physician. Mm. You know it. <laughs> Author, radio show host, and coach John M. Hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. It was an interesting moment for me at the time because I really wasn't seeking someone or anyone, I should say. I just hoped if I did meet someone, 
that they would be a positive person to meet. Everything he was saying and doing was making me fall in love with him. A lot of people quit going, that's just how it got to be. But she keeps on fighting and it takes a lot of guts. Now get this off me! You two are like two immature cartoon characters. Objection. Where is any of this evidence of this? Order! I'm sanctioning you for $15,000. I have a right to see my son. This is all about a child. A poor boy born into a battle. You're trying to have a judge removed. I'll sanction her for thousands of dollars for coming to court. Wow. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Dr. Malika Clary Show on the Bold and Brave TV Network. If you just saw that trailer, mm -mm -mm -mm. welcome back. We're still with our guest, Deb Danielson, actress and everything. Yes, girl. Did you just see you up in there? Oh, my. Mm -mm. I, I just want to tell you kudos. I am so proud to see how much you've accomplished writing, producing, directing, acting. Girl, you got it going on here. I mean, that takes energy that a lot of people don't want to put out. You know what? I appreciate that. <clears throat> Thank you very much for the compliment. But I'm going to tell you something. I didn't do it without God. Because, you know, when you think about this type of movie, it's a passion movie. It was based on true events, you know, right. and it was something I went through. Now, re people say, oh, you can act yourself. You know, being an actress is one thing, but acting yourself during a time that's not you anymore at that moment was very challenging for me. You know what I mean? Right. Because at that time, I was going through something different. So it was just like, wow. And, you know, when I did those scenes with you, and you <laughs> I have to say, you was this great dog. You played your part good. I mean, too good. That was like, Okay. <laughs> I have to say that because I was just there like, wow, she's really good. Mm. I won't give too much about it, but I'm just like, she's so good. I don't know about this woman. <laughs> she's too good. Because you know, you had to play a different role that was just like challenging and how it was, you know what I mean? And I just felt that you really did that. And you know, it, in, in that moment, it was just like, I felt so many things that happened because it was a lot of pain during those hospital scenes in the real time of when right. things were going on, you know? Right. So let me ask you a question. How was it playing? I mean, you, you come from a, a range of being on television. I mean, you talking about MTV, you know, was it, um, uh, what was that one, um, Pregnant at 16? You've been on that one, a reality show, is that? Which um, Mama G. Yeah, 16 and pregnant. Uh, yep, there's 16. been four shows, yeah. And you, when you come to something like that and then you go to like this <clears> kind <throat> of movie, this is a yeah. feature film movie, was it oh. any different than what you normally have played in the past? You know, because of what I've come from in reality TV and what I've been through, and when you told me that this was your story, based on things that happened to you, I was compelled to want to do this because again, I couldn't imagine anybody being put through this kind of stuff, you know? And it just 
I guess I have this deep sense of what's right, what's fair, what's justice, right? And then when I think about, especially that's enough in itself, but then to have be pregnant and to be going through a birthing process, and then to feel alone or to feel hurt or you don't even know what's coming next. I mean, you know, it's scary. So <clears throat> I felt so honored that you asked me to play that role because to me, that's a very tender moment. And everything you went through was so emotionally challenging that I was worried about doing it right. Yeah. And you did wonderfully. Honestly, you did. And I have to say it was challenging for me because, you know, um, it was the first time I ever wrote a movie. I mean, I've never done this before. I've right. never wrote a movie and I never did a feature film. And I'm, I've been in independent films and other things like that before. But still, this is something like, whoa. And then you have to write something. And what mm -hmm. was really amazing, and I have to say, you're one of those players that made it possible, but made my creation come to life to what I actually saw. Like when I'm writing, you never really get to see like your vision. And you, I actually saw it. And, it was, and when I saw that and I was like, wow. So I'm like amazed with so many people that brought it. And you're one of those characters that brought my vision to life to actually didn't take too much away from actually what it actually happened yeah. back then. And that's one thing about when you write something and you do something like a movie, you just want to make sure that you get what you want out there just right. the way you want it. You want to display it just the way you see it and you know see it fit. And and I and I'm so glad that she was able to do that role. And you know I'm very touched. Thank you. Oh yeah, girl, I told you we we going places. You know we got another movie, Boston Girls, you know. I'm gonna need somebody in there. There we go. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, networking girl. So you already know. I am okay. right here. I am ready. <laughs> Good. Get on, cause we're gonna ride. <laughs> on that, get on girl <laughs> on that note we are going to take a commercial we'll be right back on the dr malika clary show on the bold and brave tv network do not go nowhere please fam don't go nowhere we'll be right back what if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair what if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to EasySense.com and learn how, with your help, we can fight these horrific brain disorders. That's EasySense.com to learn more and help support the Broderick Foundation. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Welcome back to the Dr. Malika Clary Show on the Bold and Brave TV Network. Welcome back, fam. We are still with the beautiful actress, musician, the everything, Deborah Danielson. Welcome back, my girl. 
Hey there. <laughs> You know what? And before we left, we were talking about Three Corners of Deception. But you know what? What I want to know is because also, not just you being in my movie, but what about you've been in other uh, other movies or other shows or series? What about the if someone wanted to get into the acting industry, what kind of things that you kind of was like, I didn't know this. I wish somebody had informed me about this. And I right. know sometimes it's like communications or something. What kind of challenges was there that you don't mind sharing, Karen? Because there's a lot of people that might want to get back in this industry and it doesn't matter how old you are. They might just right. want to pursue it. Well, I think the number one perception, because I came from a high tech world <clears throat> and I think the number one perception that most people miss when they're looking at somebody who's on TV or in a movie, oh, that's easy. Oh, I can do that. You know, it's just like you wake up one morning, boom, you just go do it. No, you have to go to school. You have to learn techniques. You have to learn terms. There's a whole different world of terminology when you're on TV. And like, for example, gaffers. Do you know what a gaffer is? You know, that's the lighting person. Um, do you know what camera ready means? I mean, these are all things that you have to know. You have to go to school. And even though people on TV and in movies make it look easy, like you've done, you make this movie look easy. But let me tell you, it's not easy. It takes a lot of work. It takes sleepless nights. It takes money. And then you have to just, once you create something, it's distributing, it's getting money, it's being able to track the accounting. So there's a lot of that. But I guess with reality TV, <clears throat> I would say that in order to get a weekly 45 minute show that you see with 15 minutes, basically, of you know, by this, by that, um, it takes anywhere from three to four weeks of constant filming and wow. 10, 12 hour days that they cut mm -hmm. to create the story. And even though you're watching reality TV, there is a story that they put together and there is a message that they put together and it really isn't reality in all cases. Oh, wow. So isn't reality TV, it's not scripted? Well, in other words, you don't have writers sitting in a room writing the words you're going to say. Mm -hmm. But believe me, it's directed because they're there to make a point. Mm -hmm. and so they'll direct a scene or a scenario because they're trying to reach people. So, for example, on 16 and Pregnant, they wanted to show, you know, how it's difficult. It's hard. It's hard on the family. It's hard on the child. It's hard on the individual who's pregnant with an unwanted or unexpected pregnancy. How do you handle that? So they scripted or directed or formulated, right? Mm -hmm. So that line comes out and i can't tell you after 16 and pregnant aired i had people coming at the grocery store walmart wherever even in the bathroom oh my god after i watched that i don't want to have children <laughs> oh yeah i mean sometimes it's like that i mean you just yeah. you know you it was reality i mean so it was something that you went through right exactly. and some people will have that they will have that you know response that's not something right. that's like surprising right and i guess what's really nice about reality tv even though things are not scripted but they're formulated they're directed and they're the, there's a storyline going on there because it's edited right so what happens is instead of you hearing a talking head on the news telling you what you should and shouldn't do you can actually see a repercussion for an for an action and then you can say oh i didn't know that okay well i'm not gonna do that you know so that was part of i guess the storyline and that show was so successful 
that that was the launch pad for the Teen Mom franchise, which is still going. And I was wow. I was actually invited back last year, and um, I had a great time on Girls Night In. It was great. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Wow, you know, that was an interesting show. I did get to watch that. I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Um, Mm -hmm. You did good too. I'm like, okay. And you know what's really interesting too? I mean, we we played in the short film Willpower. That was non scripted. Remember, we you <laughs> gangsta. We had, a giant, <laughs> we had a giant lizard, and I was Mercedes. I was Mercedes, the mafioso mama. And I, I tell you, you were one tough cookie in that movie too. You were you were no shrinking violet. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not. And thank you for that, because <laughs> Lord knows you got that little trailer. And you know what I'm saying on that little trailer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I sit there like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Cool. I mean, mean, <laughs> that saying, uh, hell hath no scorn or fury like the wrath of a woman. And I'm like, oh, yeah. She's yeah, the yeah. Yeah. of it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, because I didn't know he was going to make that trail like that. And I said, okay, that's your yeah. first introduction, really. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was pretty wild. It really was. I have to say that that whole little, his whole style was really unique yeah. and different. I, yeah. I mean, very artistic. Yeah. Very, 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 very much. I, I yeah. mean, yes, I have to say that. I mean, that lizard was in it interesting and we did that during the indy 500 too yeah, that's it was another thing hot. it was super hot oh my gosh it was hot that was like the worst time to be in indiana it was like we talk about that right now that was 100 degrees in 100 percent humidity <laughs> oh my goodness you ain't lying oh my gosh Whew. Oh, mm -mm -mm. that is just i don't even want to think about it i don't even think about it but it was fun <laughs> <laughs> it's a blast it's a blast with that note we are going to take a brief commercial we'll be right back with deborah danielson she'll give her all her information how you find her and support her and um what she's doing now we'll be right back don't go nowhere fam don't go nowhere did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, Hope, and Support for Caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com.
<laughs> Welcome back to the Dr. Malika Clary Show on the Bold and Brave TV Network. We are just having a blast. Too much fun. This is too much fun. We are still with the beautiful guest, Deborah Danish, the actress, the everything. You know, I'm so glad that you decided to be a guest on my show. Thank you. It was such a pleasure to have you. And um, of course, I'm not. Go I'm going to see you again. You know that. I, I use your know. number on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> I just pull you out the back pocket when you say, oh, call me anytime. Okay. I'm doing this, Deborah. Are you available? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> that's right. You know that's right. So how do we get this magic? How do we support you and what you're doing? How do the fans and more people, because, you know, the show is global, so they may want to find you and what you're doing and how they can support you. Give me all your information now. So you can find me just about everywhere. So you can find me on Spotify uh, two different ways. Number one, the Rebel Podcast, and that's R-H-E-B, and then a backward E-L, Rebel Podcast with Deborah Danielson, where I try to dispel isms, ageisms, racism, sexisms. I believe we should ban isms. It's about attitude. Have the right attitude, right? Ooh, mm -hmm. Second thing on Spotify, I do hip hop rap music. You can find mm -hmm. music there. And I'm currently working on a new song called When I Grow Up. So I <laughs> love this song. And it's meant dancing the party down with. And I hope we can do a cool, fun music video to make people laugh. And it's just, you know, after the pandemic, when we've been all caged up and sequestered yes. and all of this stuff, I thought, let's do something fun. So that's what I'm currently working on right now. Um, and then you can also find me on Instagram. So all social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, I'm an influencer. And um, when you go, you can look at the top of my profile where you'll see my link tree. Link tree goes to Cameo where you can hire me to help you celebrate a special birthday song or anything like that. And I also do commercial advertising. And if you would like to find my website, it's www.debra-d.com. -E and you can find all my products there. Mm. My lips, oh, my food, my containers that I make that are fantastic. But you can also find every link through my link tree. So never worry. Just go look up Debra Danielson. Well, thank you so much. Yes, she gave you all her information. So go ahead and support her and look for her. Thank you, Deborah. It was such a pleasure to have you on my show. Thank you I love so, you so much. much. Thank you. And I can't wait to stream the movie. And I will just yes. say one more thing. My fans that lived where your music or your movie premiered, especially in indie, they had nothing but amazement to say about this movie. And some of them went back three times to see it. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support. Yeah. With that being said, thank you, Deb. With that being said, how you look for Dr. Malika Clary, um, you can go to the website, drmalikaclary.com. I'm on Google. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and all. If no one said, I love you today, I am going to say, I love you, be safe, and have a wonderful day and a weekend to come. And I just hope everybody just continue to enjoy your life with positivity. Enjoy. Thank you again. You've been watching the Dr. Malika Clary Show. Tune in next week as Dr. Malika will help you shift towards a better life. But this show doesn't stop there. She'll provide helpful tips regarding surviving the entertainment industry and the judicial system with practical information. Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern, here on the Bold Brave TV Network.